Alright YouTube, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the iconic Air Max 90 in the triple white colorway after wearing it for two years straight. What's going on everyone? Mikey here from Forward Fashion and Kicks and before we dive into the details today, if this is your first time here guys and you enjoy this type of content, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and if you find today's video helpful in any way shape or form, please do me another huge favor by dropping a like on the video. Let's dive in. So I ended up picking up this pair a couple years back in February of 2019. So actually uh, two and a half years back. And when I first got the shoe, I never wore it as a daily. I wore it maybe a couple to a few times a week. And that was basically when I would go to church or if I had somewhere to go for dinner. So I guess you could say a semi-special shoe. But as I wore the shoe more and the shoe got broken in and worn in, it ended up becoming a daily. I uh, I never put the shoes back in the box like when I first when I first got them. I just left them right by my door on the shoe rack. So what that means to me is basically, if the shoe is on the shoe rack, then I'm probably gonna wear it a lot more often. So I ended up turning it into a daily, and I obviously I still take took care of them because that's just the nature of my my character. Uh, you probably wouldn't even guess this shoe is two and a half years old because. Basically, um, yeah, I take care of my shoes. But actually, when you look at the sole here, the outsole, you'll see right away that there's definitely some wear and tear on these shoes. But uh, yeah, what do I have to say? Um, the shoe does not disappoint. It's uh, comfier than the first day when I bought it. Uh, because it's conformed to my foot, I feel like that's why it's comfortable, just because the insole, you know, it. it gets used to, to where the pressure is applied and eventually it just perfectly fits your foot. As for how I keep my shoes clean, there are a few things that I typically do when wearing my shoes. So the first thing is, is you, you kind of have to know where to step. And what I mean by that is, for example, let's say you're going for a little walk and you see a big puddle of water, dirty water just pulled up there. So obviously, you know, you want to walk around it. You don't want to step in that. The same thing goes for if you're walking on the grass and you see an area where the water has just been accumulating and it's pulled up. You don't want to step in it, right? That's, that's kind of a given. The second thing is what I'll do every couple of weeks, I'll take a clean rag and I'll wet the corner of the rag with some hot water. I'll put a little bit of dish soap in it and just wring it out so the water is diluted, the soap is diluted. And what I'll do is I'll focus mainly on the midsole. So this rubber part right here I usually wipe wipe this down I scrub it and I, I make sure that it gets real clean I clean inside the crevices here you know on the back there's usually a lot of dirt that gets built up on the heel here and that's the same for the front toe box here there will be a lot of dirt that's just built up there just from normal everyday use so I'll do that every couple of weeks and what I'll also do is I'll take a look I'll inspect the shoe so all of this leather around it on the overlays, on the mud guard, and on the back of the shoe here. And I'll kind of do, I guess we would call it a, a spot clean. So I'll just take that same wet rag and uh, I'll just wipe off any spectacles of dirt or mud or anything like that. And the third thing is, is you have to walk properly. You know, you don't want to walk like a sloppy person who's just dragging his heels all the time because what that does is, well, for one, it doesn't make you look proper. It looks a little sloppy. And the second thing is, is when you walk properly, it prevents the bottom of the outsole from getting worn down. You know, you can always tell by the way somebody walks by looking at the outsole of the shoe. So that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see a video on how I keep my shoes clean um, and you would like some demonstrations or anything like that, leave a comment down below and I will make a video for you guys. Keep in mind that for those of us out there that want to get the most out of our money, to get value out of what we buy with our hard earned money, preventive maintenance is key. And that's why I'm emphasizing the fact of when I wear these shoes, I, I do my best to take care of them. So that includes what I just talked about, those three things as to, as far as where you step, you know, as giving it a quick wipe down after every couple of weeks of wearing them and just walking properly, all of those things all together will make it so much easier when you're trying to keep the shoe in good condition. When it comes to how these shoes aged, 
I gotta tell you, I am definitely impressed. Now, this isn't my first pair of Air Max 90s. Uh, I actually had an, a pair of the all black leather ones back in 2010 that were given to me by my good friend. And well, that's another whole story altogether, but he's actually the reason why I got into the Air Max 90. But anyways, what I'm getting at is that all black pair that I had, that I wore for 10 years, I wore them hiking, I wore them to the gym, I wore them running errands, I wore them walking my dog, you name it, I did it. The only thing that I could tell you was that this outsole here where it overlaps on the toe box started to peel off. But keep in mind, that was over a 10 year period of time. So these ones right here, they have quite a ways to go because these have only been on my feet for about two and a half years and there hasn't been any deterioration whatsoever. Now you can see here on this mesh here, there's a little bit of dirt on that crease right there. And that's that's kind of inevitable because when you wear the shoe every day, that's uh, it's bound to happen. But I am actually gonna make a full video on thoroughly cleaning these shoes. So stay tuned for that because I'll, release it, I'll be releasing it in the next couple of weeks. All right fam, that just about wraps up my review on the Air Max 90 in the triple white colorway after wearing it for two and a half years straight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your experience was with the Air Max 90. Did it age well? Did it deteriorate? Did it get more comfortable? Let me know down there. Until next time, peace.